love Two, some scythe gameplay one, with draw. the Mordex. We are back. There are many, many matches between these two players. So a lot of history, a lot of player knowledge that will be coming into this match. They played uh, just in July as well, a trial of Heimdall as well. That was a third place for Wes, a fifth place for Power. Mm -hmm. So definitely, definitely doable for both of these players. Again, you just think about how much history these two have with each other. So. Again, power coming in with a, a bit of momentum as well. But of course, Wes 3 0 ing Lores in the previous set. So right. uh, both of them coming with some pretty great wins as you try to uh, get your spot versus use. But right now, you have bigger things to worry about. As Wes is playing uh, the Terra, so we've been seeing Wes play a plethora of Legends. But right now, the Terra's versus the Power Mordex. And once again, that perfect position right there, just a couple character lengths away from the edge of the stage mm -hmm. where the hammer can really shine right there from Wes. Again, playing at a de damage deficit right now. Looking for the Stomp, not going to get a Sarah after that as well, but Power can't capitalize on it. I like the end light into the immediate weapon toss, picking up the Scythe here and able to that catch the very floaty recovery attempt with that, uh, with the uh, Scythe recovery. Closes out that with a KO. Wes unable to make it back, even with the side air. And I don't know if I've seen a lot of the Taros from Wes. I'm used to seeing a lot more of the Tesca. Sure, sure. I'm interested on why we're seeing this pick. Maybe worried about the Scythe, but it's not working out that well. We'll see if he's able to close out that stock there. But Power reversing the situation. Nice Nair to get some damage going. And Wes really struggling to get anything to sick on Power. As I say that, though, the sick does find a connection. Yeah, I was going to say perhaps a recovery is just enough to do it at this point. We will find Stomp coming through in just a second as well. He goes for it, goes for it again. Why not? But, I mean, Power, again, just not biting. Chase dodge to the right isn't going to find its mark, but now it's a little bit of a reversal situation. Slide off Stomp's not going to connect either. But just like that, Power has pulled away with this game one, PJ. Yeah, and I, I feel like this is just kind of really, really solid play from Wes. Nothing too, or sorry, from Power. Nothing too crazy. No big, long-winded combos, but just constantly winning neutral and making it impossible for Wes to get in the game. Just can't even find a KO. The side air punishes the whiff side air from Wes and big damage lead. I mean, you're up three socks to one already, but you're also piecing up Wes. Wes can't really find any reprieve from the pressure and Power not looking to give any. Even that wasn't a KO off that the top. Finally yeah. gets there a breath of relief for just a moment as the respawn comes through, but Wes has taken a decent amount of damage on the way out, and Power's got a fresh stock to play with. We saw Wes making the big read on Power going for a weapon. Power realizing that, staying in the corner, waiting for the whiff, picking up the scythe, and overall playing very, very controlled and not really giving Wes anything. Even in a spot like this where you might be eager to lock this game right. down, it's like, you know what, I got, I'm up two stocks to one, you know, I don't got to do anything. Okay, Wes approaching red. Right now, in red right now, excuse me. Oh, That's got to do it right there. <gasps> Still living for a little bit longer, but the sweats come through, mm. and that is just a rough angle to drift in on. Game one, one going over to power. Very, very clean stuff, and once again, more controlled gameplay from South America. So, of course, South America being known <clears throat> for being a very aggressive region, uh, but right now, the winners are playing very, very controlled. Yeah, totally, totally. I'm wondering, to your point, right, of how much you expect to see uh, Wes on a different legend if we're going to see a swap coming through. But yeah. we shall see in just a moment. I mean, power on that scythe was just a force to be reckoned with. You're seeing it in some of these replays as well. This was final stock right here. Quick, easy pickup. Wes, nothing left in the tank. Just going to fall to his doom. But we'll see counter pick coming through. Some stage strikes are happening right now. I don't know. What do you think needs to change right here going into game two? I definitely like the um, the legend swap. I think we're seeing Wes on Jala. Okay, no, Cassidy. Okay, okay. sorry about that. They both have the uh, red hair. But nonetheless, yeah. uh, Wes picking up some blasters, but that's really not why you're playing Cassidy. You're playing definitely into that um, hammer. Of course, downlight uh, having a true confirm into a SIG, which does the most Three, damage out of any two, downlight combo. One. So right. you're going to try to bring that as a way to compete with the damage that power is putting out. Uh, but Wes might prove me wrong and pull out the blasters and find a lot of success. We'll see. Let's see if it's enough right now. I mean, power again looked lethal on the site. Very, very hard to contest that right now. Wes really couldn't seem to find his footing in that first game. Okay, yeah, then that's what I'm talking about. Downlight into down sig yep. is a true confirm, and it's going to do quite a bit of damage. Oh, nice reversal. Get the like double cider. That was so crazy. Can you find the recovery? Can find okay. it. Power with the weapon toss to get the unarmed down air to get a vertical way to get down and touch the wall. Very clean stuff to stay in the game, especially uh, you don't want to lose your stock there that early. Yeah, that was a crazy reversal. And it almost looked like Wes thought he confirmed, he confirmed the stomp and then just went for that signature as well. We do see the swap to blasters right here. Damage deficit is on in favor of power. Let's see. Commit off stage? No, just let him come back. 
Yeah, and I'm interested to see what the Blasters is going to do versus Power, and immediately whiffing an end light immediately gets punished by yep. a side light from Power's Gauntlets. That's the end light. That will find That's a KO, and even with the defense stance, it's not going to be enough, and I don't know if this pick is going to work, Walt. <laughs> yeah, it's looking... I, I just don't think Wes has a lot of agency in this matchup right now. Again, like, we saw that quick little reversal right there, but that was off of the back of Power, putting oh. Wes into red remarkably early on stock one. Wes gets that in response, so let's see if there's some momentum building right now in game two. I don't know, though, right now. Wes dicing him up right there, unarmed, picks up the scythe, and this is where things have gotten scary. Yeah, just really picking apart Wes's defensive game and even just able to kind of flow in and out of the hitboxes. As I say that, Wes getting a big open up, but uh, it's very important versus Cassidy, a very one-note legend at times because of the fact that they are so heavily relying on that hammer. Sure. Okay, let's see. Wes wanted to play on the ground right there to try to pick up another stomp. Maybe off of a GC as well, but we haven't seen too much action nice. just yet. Just calls him out of the sky right there. Very important signature, of course, that confirms off of D-Light, but also a great way to call out jumps, something that Mordex players will definitely look to use to their advantage, mm -hmm. that verticality. Oh, nice side Good sig Good call in. out again. I feel like he just hit him with sigs that stock. And yes. It, was, it just worked? <laughs> it do be like that sometimes, PJ. You love to see it. West first advantage of the set, though, coming into oh, game man. two, and these jump call-outs have just been remarkably good. I really feel like this is where he's making his money now. Yeah, why downlight and try to set up into the true confirm when you can just call out a jump and skip the middleman? Yeah, it's been working out really well so far. Power with a big edge guard opportunity. That's it. That's uh, just it's just over. That's a very unfortunate okay. fast fall from um, from power there, and uh, that's that's game two. That's right. We are evened up one and one. I mean, there were a couple doubts I think from both of us of if the Cassidy would work out, but yep. uh, after a gimme and then a couple great jump callouts from Wes, I'm feeling a little bit better about it. Yeah, it does quite a bit of damage, and uh, I was kind of doubting the, the success, especially because in the stock one, Wes wasn't finding a lot of um, big damage and connections on the SIG, but just started to hit a lot of SIGs, and their chase dodge down, very aggressive from power to try to get back in the game. Didn't find a connection, and um, that's all it, all it takes for Wes to get, take game number two, but th what an interesting set so far. Um, I don't even know if you can write that off as like a confident win for Wes or if that was just That's kind of what I'm adjusting. getting at, right? Yeah. Like I feel yeah. like there was a little bit of a mistake Three, on power two, side. Again, not to one, diminish bro. the win of course, from the, the side win, of yeah. Wes. But I feel like this game three is really where we're going to see if this, this legend swap makes the difference here. Immediately throwing away the blasters because, you know, I like to call Cassidy one of the only uh, one weapon legends because you <laughs> so heavily want to rely on uh, the hammer. Nice little open up there from Power on the Gauntlets, which has been finding a lot of success in bursting into the range of Wes. And uh, only jumping in ways where Wes would have to really commit with a Sig to sure. call out. And I really like that approach from Power, really mixing it up and showing the adaptation immediately. And again, yeah, just looking for these signatures just on one instead of after the follow-up off the stomp, presumably to just call out a jump and drift in from Power. Power not biting there gets first strike. Okay, blasters in hand, looking to try to get a juggle going, going for the big recovery as yep. an attempt to read a dodge away. Didn't find a connection, didn't find a punish either on the side of power, but I mean, you have about 100 damage on you, maybe, maybe that put you over the edge, and you're looking pretty solid to get some extra credit going. Absolutely. Nice movement from both players. They're definitely using that dash to try to disrupt each other's flow, and it's working for Wes so far. Wes made a lot of magic happen with those Sairs as well. Here comes. Caught out of the sky once again. Let's find the lasso, but power on that scythe is still such a scary sight. That is not enough to do the KO right oh. here. Power will find a reversal hit, but it's not too much after that. Really, really low damage on the side of West. Really waiting for the jumps there as well. Uh, power yeah. jumping away from not only uh, the SIG, but also from the downlight. Okay. Call out right there with the gauntlets. We do get off stage. West is able to touch the ground, though, so everything's fine for the moment on this stock. Okay. Yeah. The bro was cooking something. <laughs> Hold, holding that lasso center. I respect it. Yeah, just trying to call out power. Uh, with gauntlets especially, you use a lot of dash jumps as a way to disrupt and get in. But uh, as I said, I was going to say, power hasn't been giving a lot of the six, but West right. finding connection there and kind of uh, just... I mean, this is kind of exactly what happened in the last game where Power is able to take the first stock, but didn't really snowball it, and Wes is getting back in the game for it. Weapon advantage over to Wes, though. Found it at least, but lost the stock in the process. 
We will find a favorable spawn to pick up that weapon, but Power was able to deny it right there. It's a stock in response, and just like that, the tides have swung back over to Wes's favor. Getting a little wave there with the Haymaker, making sure Power is still awake, and we're down to a last stock situation as that uh, Hammer Ensig is looking to find another victim in Power, just holding center stage, though. Not, not throwing it out. I like that from Wes, showing some restraint on the Sigs. Okay, GC to get the party started right there with a couple oh. of combo hits, but Power finds the reversal, just runs and scurries right away back towards center. Does not want anything to do by the ledge to get reversed. It's kind of uh, scary to see Power dodging uh, on reaction to that Sig. You want to punish it. You don't want to yeah. play too scared around it. And I think if Wes can kind of condition that from Power. Here's one. Okay, that's a good punish. I like that from Power. Still staying in it, not just always dodging away from it. Okay, weapon throw promotes a high jump right there from Wes. Power can't capitalize too much, but once again on the scythe and Wes in red. This could be Danger Zone now in the tiebreaker game. Soft platform movement from both players. Power definitely finding some safety in it, but... <gasps> nothing, nothing. Ooh. Power could have caught that right there. I don't know if he knew how many resources Wes had oh. left. There's the jump read once again out of Wes, but it's a big swing off stage. Power can starve the weapons as well because that disarmed on the way out. Gauntlets were trying to find one. Wes needs to find the weapon as well, and it is a hammer once again. <gasps> Stop, no Sarah comes through. Wait, the one weapon's weapon down. Dive kick? No, doesn't go for it. And gets okay. the end light on the down air. Whip from Power. Power struggling to find their way back to the stage. Does West getting an end light there? Oh, no. Missing the recovery. Power still in it with the gauntlets in hand. Just needs that one recovery to close out the stock. West and doesn't even want the blasters. Are you kidding me? The high, high toss promotes the dodge oh, right there. No. That's all it needs for Power to find game three. Why did we throw the blasters away? I don't get it. I know blasters isn't the favorite thing, but maybe it gives you a little he bit said, of a chance. Let me, let me catch these hands for just a second. Why don't you catch these hands? I was nervous because especially yeah. with the weapon spawn in that last stock, maybe we'll see it on the replay as well. Wes picks up blasters and it becomes a little bit awkward, right? With those yeah. blind spots uh -huh. on how you're going to actually finish that stock in that positioning. I mean, of course, you'd rather have the hammer, but that was the last one you picked up. So tough position for Wes to be in. Power closes that one out and just like that West could be out of the tournament at fourth. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not sure exactly um, what changed for power, but I think the one thing that I did note was not getting hit by as many SIGs was very important. Not landing right in front of Cassidy for a side SIG connection, not jumping at that vertical diag or the diagonal angle to get hit with N SIG. Very, very important um, adaptations from power to keep themselves in this set and looking to take it 3 1 here. We'll see uh, what the counter or no counter pick from West. So we're going to Western Air Temple, the stage, three, maybe making two, a difference. We'll see. One, Absolutely. Oh. Legends will remain the same right here. Those blasters came out for 12% of the game. They dealt 47 damage at the finish line right there, but it was just not enough for West to close that one out. And one that looked like he had a pretty solid advantage, at least at the end. So let's see. Power seems a little bit more clued into those jump reads off of the Cassidy signatures with the hammer so far. <gasps> okay, nice side air to get some momentum to touch the wall, even with the sweat beats. Okay, dodge is great to get around the weapon throw. Ooh, trying to catch a, um, a jump back to center stage, didn't find it. Power also tr trying to call out Wes, putting themselves in the corner and waiting for the dodge. Yeah. Not in a spot to punish, but really forcing Wes to burn all those options down light into Ensign. Connects again for some big damage. One more might KO here. You have to be very careful. The side sig yeah. would have, but Power instead punishes with a side air of his own and looking for that last hit, the recovery not quite enough on Western Air Temple. The side air not enough either. The first first interaction disarmed though, which is huge. Wes is able to touch wall right there to get the reset, but weapon starved. Any combo right here from Power will find first stock. All that being said, Power's in red as well. So let's see what happens here. Blind spots are so, so dangerous for Wes to be in, right? And Power knows it just wants to get right into his face to try to find his first stock. There's a whip punish right there and it is first strike over to power. I was honestly kind of surprised on how much West was able to live there. Super dark, uh, deep, dark red, but uh, power nonetheless getting an end light on the gauntlets and looking for some extra credit. Gets the punish on the side sig. No big string attempt off stage. Really wanting to hold on to the lead, lead not just push it. Yeah, and for as much as I've praised uh, Power wow. on the Scythe, he really didn't use it all that much in the last game. Mm -hmm. Gauntlets were used for 63% of that match, which is kind of insane for me to think about. But with all that being said, Scythe is back online once again. Let's see if he tries to deny off of this. Yep. Oh, man. West really struggling to find a KO versus not only the Scythe, but also Gauntlets going for the big Haymaker that took the second stock in the last game. Not going to find as much luck. 
And even okay. on unarmed versus Scythe, I'm not sure if you want to try to go off stage, you get reversal very hard, and, and Scythe very good at punishing the blind spots of blasters. For sure. Power a little bit more clued in now to Wes's dodge there patterns is. as well. That was a dodge down off of disadvantage state. Wes will find the stock, but it's red. Okay, Wes holding on center stage and holding on to this weapon. Nice and light. It decides it going for the ground pound on a read of a dodge in or dodge in place from power. Didn't find the read and could have been a bad spot. Gave power the opportunity to get a weapon, but hasn't done much yet. Okay, we'll you see. got a weapon throw up oh, potentially. What a no, so just smart. fights his way back is kind of crazy too. Oh, what? We just side sick and it's gonna get punished by power. That's insane. Still hanging on. Weapon throw means that West cannot jump right there, but power concedes stage right there, knowing that gauntlets are going to be enough to make it last stock. Having that KO, uh, very, very high damage, but a KO nonetheless on that gauntlet's end light. Very, very important for power so far. Okay, here we go. A little bit of action with the blasters coming through from West. A rare sight on this legend for sure. Yeah, this is, I mean, it's very, very hard, I feel like, to get to really pin down Mordex on Blasters in the current state. Sure. Okay, nice dodge on the side sig and gets a whip punish for it. And okay, nice end sig to close out that stock. And we're last stock game four, but I feel like Power really has been holding on to these stocks for a very long time. Yeah, agreed, agreed. Good spawn for Power right there on the right side. Wes can't find the follow up, but had the dodge read correct. Oh, big side. swings right there. How does Power oh, close good, this one nice. out? That might be enough right there. We're going to find the wall. Wes is able to touch down on stage. One more chance, it's looking like. Very good discipline from Power to not side air into the wall, because Wes can yeah. uh, fast fall down and get a recovery on the hammer and really turn the positioning really, really bad. Oh, the, the Nair into the recovery doesn't find a connection, gets a side air there into the stage. Wes going for a side air of their own, and the NSIG whiffs. I feel like the pace has just picked up so tremendously now, PJ. Power is pulling the trigger a little bit too early. Again, weapon toss right here will mean that you switch to oh. the site, but that's enough to do it. Power is going to take this one home, three to one. Very, very good stuff on the Mordex. Of course, game two with the immediate Cassidy switch, it was something that we, uh, we were both talking about, where it's like, are you confident in that game win as Wes? And I sure. think Power definitely showed like, okay, that was a fluke game. I'm going to uh, come back with the Mordex and show the controlled play style of game.